All right, we're going to be talking through concept five notes on ecological succession, and this is going to be the same notes for CP and honors students. So, what is ecological succession? It is the process of ecological change in an ecosystem where one community is going to replace another over time. And we see two types. First is primary succession, which is the formation of a brand new ecosystem from scratch. And then there's also secondary succession, which is, tends to be the recovery of an old or previously existing ecosystem. So we're going to talk through each of these. Primary succession occurs when a community forms in an area that has not previously been occupied. So for example, exposed rock, um, lava, they believe that Hawaii formed from primary succession. Um, melted ice, if a glacier recedes um, and leaves exposed rock, primary succession could occur there. Eroded sand, that kind of thing. The key is that it's, some, it's gonna take a long period of time because it's occurring in a place where no soil exists. So pioneer species are the first that are gonna move in to the new environment. And for primary succession, they're gonna be organisms like lichens and mosses that can grow without soil. And lichens and mosses are special because they can basically decompose rock and um, other sediments and use the nutrients from them to create a layer of soil so that then larger and more complex plants can um, come in and grow. So once there's kind of enough soil there and, that, um, and it has enough nutrients, small plants, weeds, grasses, flowers, ferns, and shrubs can pre begin to grow. And they can grow pretty well because there's no trees at that, this point. Um, so they have no competition for sunlight and other resources. These plants are going to further break down the soil and create, make it even more nutrient rich. Um, the seeds from other plants and even trees then can begin to grow as the soil gets more and more rich and larger plants can inhabit the area. And as new species of plants move in, new animal species can also inhabit. So note the plant species, obviously plants can't walk, but they can travel, like moss spores can just travel through the air. Um, they can blow in, um, they can migrate in on other animals that can be passing through the area, that kind of thing. But animals then will start coming once the plants are there. And then organisms growing in each stage, you know, they may um, hinder their own survival. You know, they may, mosses may not flourish later on, but they're paving the way for future organisms. Eventually, a mature community is going to result in which there's, you know, little change in the composition of species. There's not any drastic changes. And we would call this a climax community. It is a mature and stable community of plants and animals that are pretty developed with relatively... Um, predictable changes. And think, climax community is towards the end of succession. Think in a movie. If the climax, the most mature and the most intense part of the movie was in the beginning, you wouldn't watch another hour and a half of the movie. If it was in the middle, you wouldn't keep watching for 45 minutes. Kind of the big, mature, most developed part of the story, always it builds up until the end of the story. And so the climax community is at the end of succession. Secondary succession is a little different. This is going to occur in an area that was once occupied by living things, but it was potentially destroyed by a disturbance, such as a forest fire, um, land being cleared for farming, a hurricane, any sort of natural disaster, or often even something man-made. Um, this can be a cause of secondary succession. And once the established community is destroyed, soil is still intact. So it's going to take way less time than primary succession because you don't have to create soil. The pioneer species, the first species for secondary, will be things like weeds and grasses. You know, there may be mosses and lichens, but if there is already soil, weeds and grasses are already able to grow. And then from there, we're typically going to go through the same stages as primary succession, but it's going to happen more quickly and then until we reach that climax community. So where in succession do you expect to find organisms and stages that last for shorter periods of time or longer? Well, you should see shorter periods at, at the beginning and then longer at the end. Shorter because as the soil is getting more and more nourished, other organisms are quickly being able to move in. Longer as it gets more stable towards the end. Why does secondary succession happen more quickly than primary? Well, you don't have to make soil. You're not starting from scratch. So it's able to get going much quicker. 
And then last, what kind of organisms would you expect to find in an area where disturbances are frequent or intense? So places that are regularly hit by tornadoes or regularly hit by forest fires or regularly hit by hurricanes. You're going to see a lot of pioneer species and a lot of smaller organisms, not 300-year-old oak trees, that kind of thing. So I want you to pause and take a second. I want you to try to fill in this chart, and then um, you can see the answers. So I love this chart, kind of compares primary succession, definition, brand new ecosystem from scratch, no soil. Analogy, think of make, this is like making cookies from scratch with flour and butter and sugar and vanilla and chocolate chips. You're starting from nothing. A real world example is like a volcano erupting or a glacier melting. The pioneer species will be like moss and lichens because they're able to make soil and the result will be a mature and stable climax community. Secondary succession is recovering a previously existing ecosystem after disturbance. Soil is there. This would be like buying pre-made dough, like break and bake cookies. <clears throat> you already have all the goods. Now you're just going to kind of take it to the next level. A real world example is like a forest fire, hurricane, or farming. The first species will be weeds and grasses, although maybe some moss and lichens, um, but soil is there. And then the result is still going to be a mature and stable climax community. And that is ecological succession.